Hello and welcome to this video on the surprising impact of end restraints on steel beam strength. When designing steel members, it is important to consider various factors that can impact the behavior and strength of the beam. In this video, we'll explore the role of end restraints in steel beam design and the various types of failure that must be considered during the design process. Before we dive into the topic of end restraints, Let's first define some common terms used in steel beam design. Steel is commonly graded as S275, S355, or S460, with S275 being the most widely used grade in buildings. Some common section types include equal and unequal angle sections, channel sections, square hollow sections, rectangular hollow sections, and circular hollow sections. It's important to choose the appropriate section type for your specific project based on the required strength and stiffness. Now let's talk about the impact of end restraints on the behavior and strength of steel beams. End restraints are essentially any type of support that prevents the beam from rotating or deflecting at the ends. These restraints can be provided by a concrete floor or other beams, and they play a crucial role in preventing lateral torsional buckling and eccentric loading. Lateral torsional buckling is a type of instability that can occur when a beam is subjected to bending and torsional loads. If there is no lateral restraint on the flanges of the beam, it may experience lateral torsional buckling, which can lead to failure However, this can be prevented by providing adequate lateral restraint, such as a concrete floor or other beams, which prevents the beam from rotating and experiencing lateral torsional buckling. Eccentric loading is another factor to consider when designing steel beams. This occurs when the load applied to the beam is not perfectly aligned with the centroid of the cross-section. When a beam is subjected to eccentric loading, it will experience a twisting moment, which can cause it to fail. To prevent this, it is necessary to increase the effective length of the beam in the design process to account for the additional twist caused by the eccentric loading. In addition to their impact on beam behavior, end restraints also have an important effect on the strength of the beam. If there is no lateral restraint at the end of the beam, its effective length which is used for strength calculation purposes, is considered to be greater than its actual length. However, if there are restraints at the end or the beam is stiffened along its length, the effective length can be reduced and may be considered to be only 0.7 of its actual length under certain conditions. This means that the beam required to carry the load can be smaller, saving material and cost. It's important to consider the various ways in which a beam can fail during the design process. Bending failure occurs when the beam reaches its plastic limit and plastic hinges form. Shear failure occurs when the shear load exceeds the capacity of the section. Buckling failure can occur if the beam is not provided with full lateral restraint, such as a concrete floor, and can be characterized by folds or ripples at a 45-degree angle to the web. It is crucial to consider these types of failure in order to ensure the structural integrity of the beam and prevent potential accidents or failures. In conclusion, the impact of end restraints on steel beam strength is significant and must be carefully considered during the design process. Lateral restraints play a vital role in preventing lateral torsional buckling and beam twist caused by eccentric loading. End restraints also have an impact on the effective length of the beam, which can affect the size and cost of the beam required to carry the load. It's important to understand the various types of failure that can occur in steel beams and to consider these factors during the design process in order to ensure the structural integrity and safety of the beam. Thank you for watching this video on the surprising impact of end restraints on steel beam strength. 